Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again with another Gadget Friday, and I've got one of my favorite nerdy gadgets right here on the table in front of me. Now, I know they're not much to look at, but I promise you, once I explain what they do and how versatile they are, you'll see why I'm so excited. They're a pair of finger flashlights, or as I like to call them, flashlight fingers. And it's the kind of product that you might see online in a catalog or an online website and think, boy, that's interesting, but what would I ever use that for? But I promise you, once you own these, you're gonna find a million places to use them. And some days I put them on and even forget I'm wearing them because I'm using them so much. But let me get into the details. For starters, I didn't buy these. I have a wonderful family. I have a beautiful daughter and a wonderful son and an amazing wife. And every Father's Day, they bring dad presents because I'm the dad. So I open up the boxes and it turns into one of these stump the geek sessions where they're always trying to find some piece of technology that dad doesn't have that they think is cool and they think dad's gonna think's cool. So I open up the boxes and every year I'm just thrilled that we're together as a family and I love the fact that they're putting presents together and thinking about me. So last Father's Day, my son gave me these and I opened them up and as every dad does, I opened it up, didn't know what it was and I said, oh buddy, thanks so much, this is a great gift. But that's code for I don't know what they are and I'm not sure I'm ever gonna use them, so they went on a shelf. Well, a couple of weeks later, he asked me, hey, have you ever tried those gloves out? And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I never did, I better check them out. So I took them down, put them on, and I'm telling you, from the minute I put them on, I kept them on that afternoon and I found 50 things to use them for that week. There were just so many different situations where I needed a little bit of extra lighting on a project I was doing or I was outside doing something or, or I was working around the house and I needed a little extra light in a corner of the house that was dark and these are the perfect solution for that. Now, to be honest, I've owned a lot of different types of flashlights. I've got magnetic flashlights, gooseneck flashlights, floodlights, but the problem is with most flashlights, You've got to hold it. You've got to have somebody hold it. You've got to stick it to something if it's magnetic. You've got to put it on the ground with a gooseneck pointing down. And invariably, it's either too much light, not enough light, or it's pointing in the wrong direction. So you're always, if your wife's with you, you're always like, no, hold it over here. Hold the flashlight over here. And it turns into a bad situation. So what's perfect about these is that they're aligned with your fingers. And when you put them on, no matter what you're working on, the light is actually focused right on the tips of your fingers. So anything you're doing, the light is exactly where you need it when you're working. The other beautiful part about it is, unlike the gloves that I own that had LEDs in them, you don't have that problem with your fingers where you can't feel anything. Because a lot of the gloves that have LEDs on them that do sort of the same thing, when you put those on, they're great for heavy work. Like if you're gardening or picking up something or working around metal. But if you're working on small electronics, you're trying to do something small where you need that tactile feedback, they're just too thick. These are perfect. So let me show you how they work. They look like little suspenders for squirrels, actually. But you have two sets. You have a big finger here and a smaller finger here. So you can see already, that's my thumb and that's my index finger. You basically slide them through the sleeves and you'll want to pull them all the way up so your fingertips protrude from the end. You want to have your fingers out of it like that. And then basically it goes around the back of your wrist. There's a piece of Velcro on there and you just strap it on your wrist and that's it. Now again, one of the other benefits of this is my palm is free. So anything I'm working on that's dirty, I'm not getting a glove covered in dirt and everything else. It really just does give you a lot of flexibility and the lights are right here on the finger and on the thumb. Let me put this one on as well and I'll show you how that one works. So again, thumb goes through the bigger one and the finger goes through the smaller one, just like this. And once you have that on, pull it through the fingers, get the fingertips through, pull this around, you're good to go. Now, first of all, how cool does that look, right? If you're a nerd, you've got to understand that this is a really cool look. So people are going to ask you, Rick, did you break your wrist? What happened with that? Then you're going to go, no, I uh, I actually have flashlights in my hands. Look at this. Well, look at... But anyway, back to, back to the technology. So if I'm working on something, this gives me the perfect light at that particular location. And I don't have to worry about a light not shining in the right direction or me blocking it with an elbow. It's just the perfect amount of light. The other cool thing about it is it doesn't throw a tremendous amount of light. So it's not an obnoxious amount of light. Like a lot of the halogen ones I have, or if I've got Cree lights, I turn those things on and they'll blind people for four blocks. These are just enough light and it's perfectly focused on whatever you're working on. Now, some of the use cases for this, I use these if I'm working outside. Obviously it's a good source of light if you're working outside, but if you're outside, and maybe it's got a little dark, you're flying your drone. These give you just the right amount of light to walk out of that forest without having tripping over branches and everything else or lighting up the entire forest. You can point these down at the ground and it gives you just enough light to walk without tripping over something. They're also perfect. Believe it or not, a lot of times we'll go to bed early, my wife's going to sleep and I want to read a book. They're perfect for me taking a book out and not lighting up a big lamp and just holding it like this. Now I know it looks goofy to be wearing these things, but yeah, I could get a little book lamp and clip it on there, but these are perfect. They throw just enough light across the page for me to read what I'm doing and everything is fine there. They're also great if you're into raving. So if you go outside and you want to do some raves, you got the lights on the end of your hands and you can dance around. It's the perfect thing to bring in Halloween because you can scare people with these. But in general, I love them because 
they're not gloves here. They're not taking up all of my hands. So I've got my palms free, all my fingers are free. And more importantly, the ends of my fingers are free. So if I'm working on any kind of electronics or I'm screwing something in or I'm working on my car, it gives me just the right amount of light where I need it on the particular area that I'm working. And, and I don't have to worry about a flashlight running out of batteries or whatever. So I've had these since Father's Day. So I've had them quite a long time and I love them. And I actually bought two more pairs of them. I got one in my car. I keep one downstairs in the, in the shop down here where I'm working because if I'm working on a printed circuit board or I'm putting small parts together, there's just never enough light. And it's hard sometimes to get the flashlight right on it. These are perfect. I put them on, turn them on, and I've got all the light I need to work with them. And they're not that expensive. So for me, this is an unusual gadget because when I first got it, I thought, I don't know. I don't know. I'll try it, but I don't get it. Like a lot of times you look at a gadget and you'll go, that's brilliant. I really think I understand what that's all about. And I want one of those. With this one, I'm like, seems kind of gimmicky to me, but I'll give it a shot. Once I put them on, I use them all the time. And the last thing I'll say for all you nerds out there is... I'm Iron Man at this point. I really am Iron Man with these things on. So anyway, that's a little, little geeky for most of you. But anyway, I like them a lot. Another gadget that I use all the time. And again, on this channel, I know we get a chance to get a little silly in these clips, but I'm giving you advice on gadgets I use. These aren't things I just picked up off the internet and decided to talk about them. They're gadgets that I use around the house. I've used them for a long time. I've recommended them to friends and friends love them. So I feel like they've been field tested, both myself and people I recommend them to. And I think you might find them interesting. So anyway, these are my finger lightning or lightning fingers uh, that I use all the time around the house. And again, I got I to gotta thank my son for this wonderful Father's Day gift. And I hope you guys found that interesting. So that's it for today. Uh, if you're interested in these, I've got a link below. You can go to Amazon and check them out. There's a lot of companies that make them. The link down below are the ones that I use and they work really well. So you can get at least a recommendation that those are a pretty good pair. If you have any questions about these, I can't imagine you will. But if you do, drop them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. One last thing I forgot to mention, there's a small screw right here that when the battery Batteries do run out their button batteries in there. But again, I've had these things, geez, I don't know, a year almost, uh, and no issues whatsoever. And I use them a lot. But if you have to change the battery, you pop that screw up. There's a button battery underneath. You put a new battery in, you're good to go. They're LED bulbs in the front. They're going to last forever. They even have a little sleeve on the top to protect the bulb. A lot of the ones that I looked at online only had the LED sticking out of the top. These have a little like cone on the top of it to protect the LED. So if you're working in a rough area, you're not going to bust the bulb. But anyway, that's pretty much it for today. So thanks an awful lot for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying these uh, Gadget Friday clips. I'm having a lot of fun putting them together. Um, so give me some comments below. Let me know if you want me to continue or if you think this is ridiculous, I'll stop it. But hopefully you're not going to say that because I really have a lot of fun doing these. Anyway, that's it for today. So until next time, stay nerdy. Mm -hmm.